What's up y'all, I'm Jordy, and today I'm playing in an A++ tour. A++ is like Regulation A, plus all of the Pokemon that were added in the DLC. So there will be no Legendaries, no Paradox Mons, no, le no uh, Ruinous Legendaries, none of that. Uh, what I've got here is I've got, th this is sort of a meta team, honestly. Uh, I'm using a lot of powerful Pokemon in Regulation A. Golden Go is one of the most powerful. Uh, but there are some Pokemon we haven't seen in a while that are good. Like this High Dragon here with Choice Specs, which can do a ton of damage. I also have Terra Fire Heat Wave, that's a fun little play. And then I've got Dragon Dance Gyarados with Terra Flying Terra Blast, something I always love. A Mind Shao, that's a little bit less used, but it's good into the Incineroars that are actually in the game. Uh, and then Amoongus, you know Amoongus, and Talonflame. Talonflame I really like, I hope it does well. It's Stellar Terra Life Orb with Brave Bird and Flare Blitz, so it can put out some big damage, I'm hoping. Uh, but anyways, let's jump into the tour and see how I do. Alright, here we are. How do I handle this? Um, High Dragon seems really good. Uh, for my High Dragon at least. Hopefully theirs isn't timid, because mine's not max speed, but it is timid. Um, Golden Go could be a liability, honestly. I'm not going to bring it. Um, High Dragon does seem good though, as long as I can handle Garchomp. Gyarados with Clear Amulet ignores the Mirror Armor, so I could bring Gyarados. It's not a problem. Um, they have Tailwind on their Corviknight. I can get Tailwind up first, so I could go Tailwind plus High Dragon. Um, High Dragon's spread moves could also get around the Pachirisu. Uh, I'd be a little worried that they go for like their uh, Chandelure has Trick Room. High Dragon, High Dragon. High Dragon could also go with Amoongus, but they've got Goggles on the Corviknight, their own Amoongus, Terra Grass, Pachirisu. Amoongus isn't the greatest. I think I like Shoes and High Dragon. I don't dislike Gyarados. I mean, I like Gyarados. And finally, Talonflame back Talonflame? No. Front Talonflame with Shoes and Gyarados in the back. Oh, I don't know. This is going to be difficult. Really depends on what they lead, and the speed tiers are going to be huge. And because this is a best of one, I don't get to learn the speed tiers. So that's why I absolutely need to be careful, really. Plus, they have Steel High Dragon, and I have Fire High Dragon, so if we just... That's a decent card. If we just throw Dracos at each other, I could lose that exchange. Chomp and Corviknight. Alright, they want their Tailwind. Their Chomp is Fire. Corviknight is Ghost. They're not going to tear that one. I could lock Dark Pulse here. In fact, I could Terra and lock Dark Pulse. Terra Fire. I need to I need to be careful about what I do. I could also bring in Gyarados pretty safely. I think it's fine to Terra here. Terra, Dark Pulse, the Guard Chomp, and Set Tailwind. Uh, Corviknight just swapping, that's interesting. Into Chandelure, okay. I mean, that's fine. And it's a Terra for me. It, it probably means it's not a Terra from them. Um, I guess they could be Adamant Guard Chomp, which I think I would be faster then. But actually, I forgot about... I don't know if Adam and Garchomp max speed is a thing. Like, I wouldn't worry about that. Okay, they're just protecting. Just gonna put up my Tailwind. I could double Garchomp here. And just leave Chandelure to set Trick Room, probably. They do have Focus Sash. And they've got a Moogus. That could be annoying. 
honestly, I could I could double the chandelure, but I'm worried. They have sash. Protect. They protect and get a free hit off. It's not gonna Oko anybody. Dark Pulse, Brayford. I needed to keep speed control, yeah. This is a big risk, because they could protect Chandelure here. Oh, they swap Chandelure. That's interesting. Into High Dragon. Alright. Brave Bird should do a decent chunk to that, and then maybe Dark Pulse finishes it off. Yeah, Dark Pulse should finish from there. I love that. And I've seen a lot of your team now, too. You're not going to go for Earth. I guess they were expecting the Dark Pulse, but not the Brave Bird double up. So Dragon Claw into Talon Flame, takes it out. Fine. That is okay. Alright. And now... I could go to Shoes. I could go to Gyarados and set up. Because they could protect and Tailwind. We know they have Chandelure. I like going into Gyarados here. Getting an Intimidate down on Garchomp is great. Definitely helps me out. And it is Chandelure. Alright, they saw I wanted to double the Chandelure last time. I don't know if I care as much anymore. Either slot can protect this turn. I have two turns of Tailwind remaining. Chandelure is Terra Flying. Garchomp is Terra Fire. I guess it's not unsafe to just double Chandelure here. Like, they saw me do it last time. Maybe they read it and protect. But then again, would I do the same thing twice in a row? We'll find out. They are going for a Terra. That must be Chandelure. It is Chandelure. Okay, I'm glad I doubled it. I think even Terra flying, because you're Sash, you wouldn't be bulky. So Waterfall plus Dark Pulse should be able to do enough damage. This is a lot of damage. Oh, Dark Pulse alone almost does it. Alright, goodbye Chandelure. I get to keep speed control for one more turn. I love that. And a minus one Dragon Claw isn't going to KO anybody. Not a crit. Yeah, it doesn't even do half to Gyarados. Cool. Let's see. Corviknight has Brave Bird, Body Crest, Tailwind, Roost. It cannot protect. Which I like. I will Dark Pulse it, and I will Waterfall it. Double the flinch chance. Yep, Garchomp protects anyway. Beautiful. And it's Goggles, so yeah, there, there is a flinch chance here. Uh, Waterfall's not going to pick up from there. No way. Close, though. And we get the flinch. Let's go. Alright, Tailwind has petered out. High Dragon should be able to take any hit from Garchomp and Dark Pulse the Corviknight. And I will Dragon Dance with my Gyarados. Ooh, I'm faster than Garchomp with High Dragon. Amazing. There's a Claw into Gyarados. Okay, yeah, if I had attacked here, Rough Skin would have taken out my Gyarados, so I'd rather get a bigger hit in. Uh, I, I was a little worried about Garchomp actually being faster than High Dragon, though, so this is in the bag now. Dark Pulse. Waterfall. Battle is cancelled. GG's. Go High Dragon. Look at you. Alright. Good round one. Alright, our round two opponent is running the exact same team as our round one opponent. So I'm not going to have to look at this uh, team sheet as much. I, I know most of it now. Uh, we know High Dragon did absolutely great. Um, but gotta be ready for them to play differently. Uh, High Dragon Talonflame still seems good. Gyarados was fantastic. Uh, 
My fourth, I'm not entirely sure on. They've got so much that walls golden go, I don't want to bring it, but it's good into their um, Corviknight. That's, and the Amoongus, but that's basically it. I do think Shoes is fine. Amoongus can't touch Corviknight. Gets deleted by Chandelure. Doesn't help against their Amoongus. Can get redirected by Pachirisu if they bring it. I'm gonna go with Shoes. I never had to bring out Shoes last time. Maybe I will this time. Uh, I just wanted it as like, as like a fake out. Where's their Covert Cloak? On Amoongus. Okay. Don't fake out the Amoongus. Taunt the Amoongus. Wait, I've got, got Taunt on that. It's another reason uh, it's pretty good to have. Alright, Steel High Dragon with Earth Power. Oh, that's adorable! And the little flying. Probably super fan follow me. Corviknight and Pachirisu. Okay, they have Tailwind Roost, Body Press, Brave Bird, Ghost Mirror Armor. Don't want to get Body Press. Could terrify your heat wave pretty easily and set my tail in. Or double into Pachirisu, making sure it can never get off a nuzzle. Tailwind next turn? I might not have the opportunity to tailwind next turn. I think I'm more worried about nuzzle. Okay, Corviknight swaps, that's great. Into Chandelure, that's not great. <laughs> Uh, but at least I doubled the Pachirisu and didn't set Tailwind. And I can swap out my High Dragon now, after this turn. Uh, we'll see if Pachirisu went for a Protect. I can't imagine it did. I've got two big damage dealers into Corviknight. They probably thought, yeah, they probably thought Pachirisu wasn't gonna get doubled. Oof, that did not do as much damage as I was hoping. And it proc the Citrus Berry. Um, Life Orb Flare Blitz versus Choice Specs Heat Wave. No, I think it can take the Heat Wave. Wow. And <laughs> now that thing has Flash Fire. Yikes. Alright, uh, please KO. I don't think it will. Nope. No, I didn't. And they get a Super Fang into my High Dragon. Okay. I don't think that's as bad as Nuzzle. I can go into Gyarados here. I could Brave Bird the Pachirisu, just get that off the board. Or I could hit Chandelure. I could also just go for a Heat Wave, but no. No, if they redirect, that does nothing. Uh, this swap might be too obvious. I'm willing to hit Chandelure with the Brave Bird. Get it out of my way. Because then I can throw Heat Waves later. And if they want to redirect and make force me to take Pachirisu instead, that's okay. Yeah, Pachirisu protected. Good. Good, good, good. I'm getting calls right. Ish. <laughs> Wish I had done a little bit more damage to that. Ooh, that almost took out Chandelure on its own, didn't it? Didn't bring it down to Sash, but... I'm gonna... Ooh, big Shadow Ball! Ouch, 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 ouch! Ooh, half damage to Gyarados. Okay. Brave Bird plus Waterfall doesn't seem bad. Don't know the speed tiers here. Be another Shadow Ball. Hmm. Waterfall Pachirisu, Brave Bird. No. Protect Gyarados. Brave Bird the Pachirisu. Chandelure swaps, actually. Okay. Into Corviknight. Fine. 
kind of a shiny Corviknight. That's really cool. All right. This is this is working. It's working out. Hatcherisu's finally down. Uh, no, I wanted Chandelure down. Hmm. <laughs> the Chandelure did have Protect, right? Is it protected? Yeah, it has Protect. The Corviknight does not. Though it does have Terra. Which is Ghost. Oh, and they have High Dragon in there. Yeah. Alright. Specs High Dragon is about to do some damage. I think I need to set my Tailwind. If I lose both Pokemon, High Dragon has to lock into a move. It should be Dark Pulse. I'm gonna go for Tailwind, Waterfall, into High Dragon. If I somehow get a flinch, I'm in a great position. Flinch would be amazing here. Uh, but it's just a Dark Pulse into Gyarados. Okay, that might be manageable. And a Brave Bird into my Talonflame. Okay. I've got the speed. High Dragon and Shoes are now in. How can I lock down this game? Okay. Close Combat plus Dark Pulse into High Dragon. Close Combat would go first. It might whiff on a Chandelure, but then Dark Pulse takes that out. Take out High Dragon with, with Corviknight? I don't know. I hope not. But if I do take out High Dragon, the, the Dark Pulse shifts over. Yeah, I'm gonna go for it. They withdraw Corviknight. Let's go. Oh, that's huge. That's a that's game winning. Ooh, yes. Good call. Good call. Close combat. Goodbye, High Dragon. Oh. The swap the other way wouldn't have been too bad. I would have taken Chandelure. Um, but this is just perfect. Oh yeah. And now a double into Corviknight. There's nothing they can do. They can tear a ghost, but then you get Dark Pulsed. Alright. Alright, alright. And I like that so far my High Dragon hasn't... Uh, been missing anything. Well, I've been mostly click clicking Dark Pulse. So I'll click Dark Pulse and I will click Close Combat this turn. I can taunt the, a Roost for later, but I don't know if it'll come to that. Might be able to KO them this turn. I think the Double Up does it. Yeah, Corviknight's really, really bulky. Maybe not. Close Combat does... Whoa, Corviknight's really, really bulky. Dark Pulse does not finish. Uh, Braveford, let's see how much that did. Okay, they weren't going to be able to knock out High Dragon anyway the other turn. So I would have been fine if they swapped the other way. Cool. Awesome. GG's. Go High Dragon again. Alright, we got a Sand Team here. And another Chandelure, which is awesome. Uh, I'm worried about Sand, and I'm worried about Trick Room. Oh my. Golden Go... ...can work in Sand. Chandelure is scary for it, though. Oh, uh, and so is, I mean, Tyranitar's knockoff is scary for it. It is an Assault Vest Tyranitar. Um, I could threaten Tyranitar with, like, shoes. I could intimidate, whatever. Uh, I don't have goggles on anything. 
but Golden Go High Dragon could stop Trick Room. Hmm, Golden Go High Dragon could stop Trick Room because they've got Terra Fairy Chandelure. So if they want to Terra it to get around High Dragon's hit, yeah. Okay. Golden Go High Dragon. Gyarados just for the Intimidate mostly. And my own Amoongus? Or do I bring shoes? I don't know, and I gotta pick right. I'm gonna bring shoes. Close combat hits three of those Pokemon really good, so I mean, it's what I gotta do. Um, if they go double sand... Might not be the worst thing in the world. Lycanroc can do basically nothing to Golden Go. So... <laughs> Uh, Tyranitar is gonna be a pain to get rid of, though. So let's see what goes on here. Chandelure Ursa Luna. Okay. I actually love this. Their Blood Moon is Terra Normal Life Orb. Normal stuff. Their Chandelure has Protect, but it's Terra Fairy. So Make It Rain plus Snarl could get me so far. Flamethrower. Yeah, I think that's what I need to lock in. Chandelure just hard swaps, that's fair. Into who though? Tyranitar? Okay. I like hitting that with a make it rain. Are you going to protect your bear? No, you are not. Okay. I'm gonna get a snarl and a make it rain into it. I like that. With the damage reduction, I don't think you take my golden go, but there's no way I knock you out. I did a lot though, it's actually pretty close after Life Orb. And Blood Moon into Golden Go. Ooh, calling it Terra, but oh. Ooh, 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 that was a crit. Okay. Oh my goodness. That damage was not okay. There goes my sand answer. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Um, <laughs> I could get that Intimidate now if I want. Oh boy. Low kick on the T-Tar. Rock slide, knock off, Terra Blast. I think I want to get Golden Go out, yeah, into Gyarados. And throw another Snarl. It'll finish off Ursa Luna at least. If it doesn't protect. A crit Blood Moon. Come on, that would have done like nothing. Interesting. Good, 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 cool going for that call though. It's a cool call. I was considering Terra there. And then with the crit, that. Okay, oh. Ursa Luna swap. Show me High Dragon. Show me High. Not High Dragon. Show me Chandelure. Amoongus. Oh, there's your fourth. Good to know. I really like Gyarados now. I kind of wish I hadn't thrown it to the wolves here for this knockoff. It did under half. That's cool. Let's see. I could Terra Blast that Amoongus if I wanted. Do I want to? They could rock slide pretty easily. Do I go back into Golden Go? Get another Intimidate for later? The Amoongus does have Protect. I'm gonna go for it. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the Terra Blast. Tyranitar could be taking my Gyarados here, but... That wouldn't be the worst thing if I can trade for Amoongus. Now, if they protect Amoongus... I could be in a little bit of trouble. Uh, it's a Terra. 
Must be from, be from Tyranitar, worried about a waterfall? No, we're from Amoongus. Worried about... Just the Terra Blast, I guess. But you're Covert Cloak, you're not gonna take both of these. I don't think. Citrus Berry, sure. Maybe worried about a High Dragon Swap plus Terra Blast? Probably could've lived then. Alright, Amoongus gone. Terra gone. Terra gone for both of us, most likely. I guess this could be a low kick or something. Question is, do we live a rock slide? Nope. Okay. Good job, Gyarados. You did the thing. What's High Dragon doing? You doing good, High Dragon? Okay, good. Yeah, back to Golden Go, because if they go Chandelure, they're pinned again. Just like... I mean, I mean, they're not pinned by the Golden Go. Tyranitar is. Chandelure should go down to a Snarl plus Make It Rain, though. Tyranitar should also go down to Snarl plus Make It Rain. So we're good. Make It Rain. Snarl again. As long as I keep hitting these Snarls, we're good. We're golden good. And the Make It Rain won't miss. And Chandelure is going to have a hard time taking down High Dragon, even if I get, like, two misses. Uh, I guess I miss... They set up Trick Room. I take out Tyranitar. Blood Moon comes in. Then I'd be in huge trouble, actually. So let's hope it's not that. Uh, Sand should be gone soonish, so maybe I can keep my... Uh... Uh, sash on Mind Shell. And maybe you want to take a Snarl. Maybe you think you can take a Snarl and a minus one Maker in? So I, I like just continuing to spam Maker Rain. Maker Rain will take the bear. can't take the pressure off though. I need to I need to make it rain because it's the only thing that hits Ur Ursa Luna and I need to click Snarl because I can't let Chandelure get up Trick Room. Yep, they're gonna protect there, but the double into Chandelure should be enough. I, I guess they're counting on a miss and then they can get Trick Room up. I don't miss. Oh, they might be able to get Trick Room up anyway it looks like. Okay. That was not enough damage. Ooh, that should have been a Shadow Ball in the Chandelure, I'm thinking, huh. Yeah, and there's Trick Room. If your bear has to attack, it'll go down. When it attacks. Finish it with fake out even. <laughs> I have to protect Golden Go and just click Snarl. Because your bear will go down when it attacks to Life Orb. Yep, there's the Blood Moon. Ouch. There goes the back. Okay. <laughs> and now, time to reveal my fourth. Yeah. Uh, their Chandelure has Flash Fire, Flamethrower, Shadow Ball, Trick Room, Protect. I'm glad I have Knock Off. There was a, my previous version of this team did not have Knock Off, it had Wide Guard instead. If I couldn't touch this Chandelure with shoes, I would lose. Uh, but here I can just Shadow Ball and knock off and the game is won. But they take out Golden Go first. 
props to them for continuing to play. Because depending on who I had last, that was winnable for them. Uh, especially if I had a Moongus last. I don't know if anything else they could have won with, but a Moongus last? They could have beat that, potentially. With like a one turn sleep. So GG's. Alright, I'm in a really scary situation here, because they have a Trick Room mode and a Tailwind mode. And I have to call it right. Uh, Talonflame seems iffy, especially because of their Ferrigraph. However, Shoes can ignore Fake Out with Inner Focus and taunt the Ferrigraph if it comes to that. And if they go a Whimsicott route, well, I'll have Golden Go. If they do Whimsicott Arcanine, I can tear up my Golden Go, but then I'd be weak to Moonblast. It's it's a whole thing. It's fine. Plus we're immune to Intimidate, which is good. Yeah, I like these two. I like Shoes Golden Go. They've got Clear Amulet under Arcanine, so Gyarados isn't that great. High Dragon's good. There's nothing wrong with High Dragon. They do have Fairy moves on the Ferrigoraph, though. I need to be careful about that. Um, Amoongus is not good. Talonflame might be okay. If I can get rid of Ferrigoraph, it is. Or do I just bring Gyarados? <sighs> Late game Talonflame. That's what I'm doing. If I can get rid of Ferrigoraph, I get a powerful Brave Bird that I can throw off. This is the team that scared me the most. Uh, the last three teams I fought, the Sand one was a little iffy. The first two teams I fought, I feel like I had a good matchup into. The Sand team was iffy, but mostly a good matchup. This one feels like... It really depends on which half of the team they bring. And that is... Whimsicott Arcanine. That's the one I was afraid of. Alrighty. I think there's a lot of ways they could do this. Do they have Ferrigoraph in the back is a question. Do I just click Close Combat into their Arcanine is another question. Could they double my shoes? That's a scary idea. I think I want to Close Combat their Arcanine and Protect. I don't know if it's the right play. Alright, we're seeing a Terra. Could be Ghost Whimsicott. Show me Ghost Whimsicott. Yeah? Okay. I like to see that. Oh, and it's a Protector Mark and I. No, I don't like to see that. Okay, well, I locked CC. Did you Moonblast me or set Tailwind? You set Tailwind. Okay. You now have the option to double my Golden Go with Moonblast plus Flare Blitz. You could also double my shoes with something similar. But how do I call which one? Uh, I think the close combat is more threatening to them, so I think they might double shoes. Combat. And I'm gonna nasty plot. Okay, it's a sunny day. And just a flare blitz in the gold to go. Ouch, okay. Well, we traded. I'll take your Arcanine. Thank you very much. Arcanine was the scariest thing, but it was mostly scary to Golden Go. Um, what they've got left, I like High Dragon for. Sunny Day Tailwind, Encore, Moonblast. I can get Tailwind of my own up with my Talonflame. 
And I like High Dragon Talonflame. I don't like hard swapping High Dragon in, though. And I also need to save Terra for High Dragon, I think. Mr. Monopoly is here. <laughs> They're Golden Go that does not have Terra. I like that. I like that a lot. Alright, so I'm gonna get my own Tailwind. I could tear a dark knock off here. Tear a dark would block Encore. But then I need to hit the Whimsicott because I'm giving up my chance to become resistant to that with High Dragon. That Moonblast could shred my High Dragon. Encore, there it is! Yes, let's go! Let's go! Huge Terra. Oh, that was another last minute change on this team, was adding that. Let's go. Big knockoff. Whimsicott doesn't go down, of course. I'm gonna Shadow Ball into my Talon Flame, just to get rid of my priority. Got it. And does good damage, too. Alright, we've got Tailwind. They've got one more turn of Tailwind. I want to knock off their Whimsicott, get that out of the picture and bring in High Dragon. Because I don't want to get Encored into Tailwind. <laughs> they read this in Moonblast. It's not the worst thing in the world. Is it? No, because then we'll have Tailwind control, we'll have Flare Blitz potentially. I don't know. Ooh, Golden Go Protect? I love to see that. Okay. And you go for the Encore, yes! Huge. That's huge. And then I could lock Heat Wave because of the sun, but Dark Pulse is safer. Because they're Metal Coat, I think they might be offensive, which means Terra Dark Knockoff should be able to take them. And their Tailwind is gone, and their Terra is gone. Who do they have left? But um, Rillaboom. All right, all right. That's a knockoff then into Golden Go, because they can't flinch. My mind shall knock off Mr. Monopoly, and I will click Heat Wave. They can fake out High Dragon, but knockoff should be enough to take Golden Go, so I'm not too worried. I think I got this in the bag. Let's go, team. Let's go. Calling all those Encores was huge. If either one of those Encores was successful, I don't think I could have won. Alright, take out into High Dragon. And I haven't won yet. This could be a very bulky Golden Go. Take this hit. Big make it rain. It did take it. Wow. That is so bulky. High Dragon flinches and make it rain. Shoes hangs on to Sash, of course. Okay, it's not over till it's over, you know? Rillaboom is Assault Vest. We're gonna Grassy Glide this slot. Tailwind is about to end. Sunlight is about to end. try to knock off Mr. Monopoly and throw a heat wave. I could definitely lose this. I could definitely lose this off a heat wave miss. Heat wave doesn't connect on Golden Go, I'm in trouble. Okay, it connects on both, we're good. Yeah, that that's enough on Rillaboom that Brave Bird can take it out. And Grassy Glide's not gonna take my Talonflame. I also have the 
Wit Guard into Heat Wave play, but I'm not going to play that. Heat Wave could miss. Brave Bird doesn't. Brave Bird. Heat Wave because I'm locked in. Grassy Glide into Talonflame. That's the right call because they not if they can knock that out, then High Dragon can miss. So they played really well. Really well. That was a great game. Let's go. Alright, this is terrifying. I can match Tailwind. I can do well with High Dragon. It's probably what I need to go with. Um, scariest thing to High Dragon. Rock Slides, Blood Moons, Palafin in the Rain. Uh, but it'll take them a while to get that set up. So I could just go Tailwind plus High Dragon, start dishing out big damage. Maybe even ignore the Murkrow? Because Murkrow, it does have Icy Wind. Ooh. Ooh, that's nasty. That's really nasty. Um, I also want Shoes. I don't know if it's Shoes High Dragon lead or Talonflame High Dragon lead. Uh, but I like shoes in the back anyway. It's a clear amulet and terra grass on the palafin. I could save terra for Gyarados, but then it's really weak to palafin. Golden Go isn't bad. Amoongus isn't terrible. I think I want to go Golden Go in the back though. Because it's a bulk up Palafin, which could wall my Gyarados really easily. Because, like, it'll boost its defense, and then I can't use Waterfall, so I would have to Terra, but if I Terra, then I'm making myself more vulnerable to its water moves. This is gonna be really scary. Might be my first loss. Ooh, ooh, okay. Blood Moon and Murkrow. So let me guess, Icy Wind? Protect? Click Dark Pulse. And I'm click Tailwind. Yeah, it is just to protect. Okay, I was considering doubling the Murkrow, but I was like, what move do I want to lock into against the Murkrow? All right. I mean, this is a good play by them. This is this is a gr just a good play. They get their Icy Wind, and then they get the Tailwind. Ursa Luna. Two thirds of 150. They'll be faster than that. So I could get out to Golden Go, take that hit, hit them with a big Brave Bird. Guess that's what I need to do. I don't know if Burning Terra here was right, because I don't think it KOs anyway. I probably should not have burned Terra here. That could be a big mistake. Oh! Oh! Who am I hitting? Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Bye! <laughs> oh no! I wasn't aiming for the Rilla! <laughs> oh, bye Rilla. Yikes. Okay, um, taking Rilla's not that big a deal. Rilla Boom was never that good into the four I brought. Alright, they have an extra turn of Tailwind versus me, so I need to be wary of that. 
And I've now burned my Terra, which is a little annoying. I no longer have the Terra Boost on flying either. And they could Rain Dance, making my Flare Blitz pretty useless. Doesn't look like they brought Palafin. They could have Arcanine. Arcanine would be the scariest thing they have left. But let's see. It is Arcanine. Alright, they've got the scary stuff. Extreme Speed, Willow, Rock Slide, Flare Blitz. They're not going to set Rain, I'm guessing. I actually want to keep High Dragon safe. If I lose Golden Go or Talon Flame, it's not the biggest deal. If I lose both, it's a big deal. Uh, but if I get a Make It Rain and a Brave Bird off first, then I think I'm okay. Rock Slide. Okay. It wasn't a Flare Blitz, so I'm happy to see that. And they are faster than my Golden Go. They were also faster than Talonflame because of the speed drop earlier. They're a very fast Arcanine. Woohoo! Big damage! Huge. Love to see that. And yeah, they'll get uh, Icy Wind or a Foul Play. I'd rather see an Icy Wind. It's foul Play, ouch. Uh, it wasn't so bad, honestly. They did intimidate me, after all. A little anti-synergy there from them. They haven't burned Terra. Their Arcanine is Grass Terra. Honestly, I can go into shoes here. Not protect. Set up a nasty plot and throw close combat at the Arcanine. Or should it be fake out? If I fake out the Arcanine... They Terra Icy Wind to get ahead of my shoes. Next turn I could protect close combat, but they could double into shoes. I'm gonna just throw close combat. They might Terra here. I think they probably do. What else would you burn Terra on? If not this Arcanine right here, right now. Yeah. Okay. I guess it should have been Fake Out then. Um, Close Combat might be enough. Uh, after we saw what Make It Rain did, I don't think they're that bulky. Got him, yes! Goodbye, Arcanine. Get out of here. Uh, and then maybe they were covering for the fake out by clicking Icy Wind, if I had to guess. Get a little special attack back. And it is Icy Wind. Which isn't too bad because either one of my Pokemon can hit their Ursa Luna really hard and they can't KO both of us at the same time. How's the Tailwind looking? Because if they have their free Tailwind turn here... Yeah, they do. Maybe I should just let them have it. Because they're going to just Tailwind next turn anyway. Yeah, I'll just click a... I believe it's a plus one Make It Rain. Yep. I'm slow. I'm going to be slower anyway. Like, you're going to get Tailwind eventually. And then close combat into your Saluna. Oh, they tried to set Tailwind again. No, mine ran out, not yours. But you were faster anyway. Hyper Voice does take Mind Chow. I was at minus one special defense, that's not a surprise. And Make It Rain should... I don't know if it KOs their Ursaluna. 
but it'll KO the Murkrow and it'll do a ton of damage. It does KO or Saluna. Let's go, Golden Go. Let's Golden Go. Woohoo! Alright, that was a fun match. That was really fun. I'm really impressed by the Mind Shadow damage output into that Arcanine. GG's. Alright, we're back against this team again. This time we're in top 8. Alright. I love that this team made top 8. Uh, I'm gonna do the same thing. This is now best of 3. High Dragon Talonflame did so well every other time that it can do well here. Gyarados was wonderful. Mind Shao was beautiful. I've beaten this team twice with these four. If if they are able to adapt, then I mean it's possible. Some people get better after using the team for a bit, some people get worse. I'm one of those people who gets worse after playing for a long time. And it's been, what, two and a half hours now since this tour started? That's not crazy. But I'm starting to get a little tired. Uh, I just had a little snack, so hopefully I'll be able to keep my uh, good decisions going. Because when I get tired, I start to make bad decisions. Uh, if you watched all of the Hoenn tour I was in, I ended up earthquaking my own Latios because uh, of neutralizing gas and forgot that I had KO'd the, uh, a Latios. Okay, Corviknight Garchomp. Okay. I'm gonna Terra Fire and lock. I think Dark Pulse into Corviknight is my safest play. And then just match Tailwinds. I think that's my safest play. If it's the exact same team as. Or was it versus this person? Because. Uh, two people were using this exact same team, and if it's the exact exact same team, I remember my High Dragon was faster than the Garchomp. So if we match Tailwinds... Okay, the Garchomp is going Terra Fire. No! The Corviknight is go- Oh no! Oh no! Uh oh! Uh oh! There's a reason you never saw it do that in those other two games. Uh oh! Um, does this KO? I think it might. It does! Ooh! Huge turn one. Alright, now this is the best of three, it's not over. And also Garchomp's about to throw a mean Dragon Claw at somebody. Someone's gonna get hurt by this. Yeah, that's big damage, okay. Uh, I could double the Garchomp, take it out. I could double the Chandelure that comes in and wants to set Trick Room. But I have to get it right. High Dragon comes in. Oh. I can double the High Dragon. Brave Bird plus Dark Pulse might do it. I could also get my High Dragon out and start throwing Draco Meteors. Don't love that idea though. Uh, if I don't get the KO, could I lose the game off of this? Potentially. I think I'll Dark Pulse the Garchomp and Brave Bird the High Dragon. Just put damage on the board. Neither of these should KO. That was big damage. Yeah, that High Dragon might not be in Dark Pulse range. Big damage onto Garchomp. Just a snarl from High Dragon. Okay. That's what you're locking into? Cool. And Dragon Claw. Okay. You're gonna take a little bit there. don't want... Hmm. I already burned Terra to save High Dragon. 
I've got Tailwind. I think I double High Dragon. I close combat, and just in case they go into Chandelure, I also Waterfall. No, I can Waterfall Garchomp, close combat, the High Dragon. Uh, if they if they protect and... Ah, I knew it. Alright, if this isn't to protect from Garchomp, it's fine. Oh, it's a Moongus! Oh, that's a different... Oh, that's different. Okay. Pollen Puff, Spore, Rage Powder. Okay, Protect on Garchomp there. Nice. Alright. Still have one more turn of Tailwind. I think I'm gonna Dragon Dance. and taunt the Amoongus. Amoongus probably Rage Powders here. They could Pollen Puff the Garchomp. Um, I want to take speed. Yeah. Yeah, I have to taunt Amoongus. They could Pollen Puff the Garchomp here, but plus one Waterfall should still be enough, I think. I think they might be going for the Pollen Puff, honestly, which is a great play. I could have just taken out your Garchomp. Oh no, it was Spore. Okay, good. Very good. Now, Gyarados is faster. Waterfall the Chomp. Amoongus has Covert Cloak. I can hit it with a knockoff, it's fine. Yep, Waterfall takes Garchomp. A little bit of rough skin, that's fine. And let's get rid of that Covert Cloak. You'll probably get rid of my Sash in return. Yeah. That's fair. But now I can just Waterfall your Amoongus in close combat, your High Dragon, and it's game over. All right, that's one. All right, these four work. Uh, I was not prepared for a Moongus in the back, but I mean, I guess I was, because it worked out. I don't have a lot of damage remaining to hit a Moongus, so maybe I can consider not sacking my two leads next time. But as long as I have Taunt, it's like, whatever. Yeah, High Dragon's gone. And Amoongus, because it doesn't have a Covert Cloak, can flinch. But, uh, yeah, that one's over. Pollen Puff, yeah, that's fine. That did a lot, actually, <laughs> with all the defense drops. Alright, Amoongus can protect now. Waterfall. Close combat, whatever. And going on to game two. Battle is cancelled, alright. All right, let's do nothing different. These four Pokemon work. Um, Corviknight, Amoongus, High Dragon, Garchomp. Corviknight and Amoongus can't touch Golden Go, but High Dragon and Garchomp certainly can. And a change up to bring Chandelure or something would also hurt Golden Go. So I'm not gonna change. I'm going to keep doing the same thing until I find a reason it doesn't work. If it's not broke, don't fix it. I learned that the hard way this week with a dishwasher. Just wanted a better dishwasher and it's been such a pain. The first one they delivered, they delivered broken. And I didn't find out until the guys came to install it. And so then I had to wait for a new one to get delivered. Okay, I can stop talking about dishwashers now. The game's about to start. Or is it? Okay, there it goes. You don't need to know about my dishwasher pain. Alright. Chandelure High Dragon. 
Okay. They got Specs High Dragon. They got Focus Sash, Trick Room, Protect, Chandelure. I don't like that it has Protect. They also have Terra Steel on their High Dragon. They're flying on their Chandelure. Uh, I'm gonna Terrifier Snarl. Tail. Brave Bird the Chandelure. I'm doing it. Oh, I'm so scared. I'm so scared. But I'm up a game. I can afford to take risks. And I've got a little bit of bulk on my High Dragon, so who knows. Ah, no! No! Okay, please High Dragon, be faster than theirs. I don't know if we've ever seen this speed interaction, actually. Okay, we are faster. That's great. Getting that Snarl in is huge. That special attack drop should save anyone except, like, Draco into Talonflame. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I can throw a snarl. And since we know we're faster with high dragon, do I even need tailwind? No. I'm happy to <laughs> we're both snarling, which is funny. Uh, and brave bird chandelure. That should be plenty. Uh, if they, if they tear the Chandelure, I don't know. Would minus one Snarl into Brave Bird do it? I guess we'll find out. I think Brave Bird does a lot, so it might be okay. Yeah, Snarl should do it. Bye, Chandelure. Alright. And their High Dragon is now at minus two, but mine's about to be at minus two as well. I'll have to get that out eventually. Let's see, huh? Does this take out my teleplant from here? No, it doesn't! Let's go! Let's go! Beautiful. Alright, so I can get Tailwind in case they have Corviknight. To set their own Tailwind. Alright, here's a Moongus. It's gonna protect, right? Like, I can swap in Gyarados. Like, that's bait. That Amoongus is so bait. That Amoongus is the baitiest bait I've ever seen. It's so bait that I'm gonna double swap. Because Talonflame can still take out that Amoongus later. Neither of these Pokemon are very threatened by a minus two Snarl. High Dragon coming back later could be big too. Um, they call this and get a Spore though. Scary. Both of my Mons would swap first anyway, even if High Dragon's leaving. Which it is. Okay. I thought it might. Into Corviknight. It is Corviknight last. No Garchomp. Gotcha. Ooh, good call. Nice call on that spore. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and try to wake up. And Dragon Dance. And I don't want Tailwind going up. I could taunt the Corviknight. I could taunt the Amoongus. That might be too obvious. Corviknight has... Goggles? Yeah. I'm gonna taunt Corviknight. Let's see if I got that right. Oh, it could be a double into Mineshow, actually. Okay, good. Block the Tailwind. 
Ooh, got spored for it though. Okay, fair enough. I can't taunt you both. All right, let's get this dragon dance. Now I would like to taunt your Amoongus if I'm allowed. No, but I've got a guaranteed sleep turn. They could easily double mind chow here, just with attacks. Gyarados wakes up. Gonna get my dragon dance on. And body press into shoes? Not Brave Bird, huh? Okay. I can live that. Uh, I think I go for Protect on Gyarados, so I don't get Spored. And try to wake up and Taunt Amoongus. Okay, Amoongus is just gonna Rage Powder, that's fine. Waterfall would then do nothing to it, that makes sense. I do get the Wake Up and Taunt, great. Finally, Brave Bird Shoes. Okay. Thank you, Shoes. You did exactly what I needed you to do. Exactly when I needed you to do it. Let's go High Dragon. And I don't even care about this Illuminus right now with its taunt. I could just Heat Wave anyway. It's probably my best damage into Corviknight. Yeah, Waterfall. Heat Wave. That's fine. I'm exerting so much pressure, even a miss or two shouldn't be too bad. As long as I hit eventually. Corviknight swaps. Okay, I'm doubling that slot. You're gone. Hello, High Dragon. Uh, this might not KO. They're gonna go for a Pollen Puff to heal it up, right? I hope this KOs. I think it does. Yeah, it does. Good. I mean, not the Amoongus, of course. Because Amoongus is crazy. But the High Dragon is down. And it's probably a Pollen Puff into the High Dragon. Yep. Perfect. Exactly what I wanted to see. And now I think I Waterfall the Amoongus just to guarantee it goes down. And then I'll get a single target heat wave. Yeah. I think that's the way to close out the game. Oh, I also have a flare blitz in the back. Waterfall the Amoongus. Throw heat waves. Goodbye, Amoongus. Because I didn't want to, like, not KO Corviknight and then miss a heat wave on Amoongus and then it pollen puffs back up and starts tailwind moving or something. Yeah, see? Corviknight dodges. High Dragon does not go down to that, thank you. Waterfall, Heat Wave again. They need to dodge and they need to get Tailwind up, but okay, there it is. Woo! GG. Alright, here we are, top four, this team again. Rillaboom, U-Turn, Standard, Palafin, the bulk up Palafin. I think I beat this guy last time because Rillaboom swapped into a Brave Bird. It was Ursaluna Murkrow and I didn't call the Protect like I should have. I want to put Tailwind and High Dragon. Shoes and Golden Go. Yeah. Okay. I won last time, so I should do the same thing. Um, honestly, Rillaboom got deleted last time, but I'm not sure how influential that was. Arcanine is the real threat. Arcanine is so scary. Oh no. Uh, if I remember correctly, Arcanine was faster than minus one Talonflame. I'm not sure that means much to anybody.
Uh, Talonflame speed 195 times two thirds is 130. So it's at least 130. Meaning it's definitely faster than my Golden Go. Which I mean, it should be, right? That's normal. Was that a timeout? I don't know. We'll see. Rillaboom Palafin would be a weird lead, I think. So I don't, I don't know. Or is that who it would be? That's the order on the team list, but the order on the team list doesn't have to be the same order as in-game. Alright. Here we go. Arcanine Palafin. Whoa! Okay, they're going with Palafin. And Arcanine right in front is so scary. Is there any chance they're gonna... Oh, they can't double my talent plan to take it out. Cause, yeah, extreme speed would turn off my Gale Wings. Then they could Jet Punch only if they're faster. No, yeah, and then they Jet Punch... It could be extreme speed Jet Punch into my talent Flame. Huh. Okay. That's scary. I could go Golden Go and just Dark Pulse. Yeah, I think Talonflame could just go to Golden Go. It's probably gonna be a Rock Slide, right? And I could Dark Pulse either slot. I'll pick the Arcanine. Arcanine's a big threat and it doesn't have Protect. If I remember correctly. Yeah, Rock Slide, Flare Blitz, E Speed, Willow. If they call this Flare Blitz, they win, right? Okay, Extreme Speed does nothing. Jet Punch does next to nothing. Love it. Okay, I'm glad I called that. And that does a little under, uh, almost 75%, which is great. Alright, who could they swap in? If they were trying to get rid of my Tailwind, they probably have their own Tailwind, so Murkrow swap in is possible. Uh, I want to take Arcanine here. Definitely. So I could just protect. Or I could go out to shoes. I could do anything. I think I'll just protect. I mean, I do want to tear my Golden Go eventually, but not right this second. Okay, Arcanine swap. Into Cornebre. Yeah, there's Murkrow. That, that's perfectly fair, honestly. But who else do you got? Does it threaten Golden Go? Rillaboom? No, it doesn't. Woodhammer Grassy Glide, you turn fake out? Not really. Oh, I wish I had not protected, but what can you do? That's decent damage. Uh, obviously, I nasty plot here. I could swap my High Dragon into Talonflame pretty safely. Question is, do I want to? Because, like, it, they'll break my Gale Wings, sure. But then I don't think they have the power to take it out. And I don't want High Dragon taking damage unnecessarily, because it's good into Palafin as well. Talonflame is actually only good into stuff that's on the field right now, so I want it on the field right now. Looks like they're gonna foul play and wood hammer my Golden Go, yeah? Uh, no, it's U-turn. That's fine. In fact, go into your Arcanine, please, so I take less foul play damage. Uh, you could also be Icy Winding here, that would make sense. Break my Gale Wings, ooh, that would be really scary. Da 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 It's Arcanine, cool. Mm, it's less cool if you break my Gale Wings. If you don't break my Gale Wings, I think we're fine. Ah, uh, yikes. 
Because now I have to play the, is it going to be a Tailwind Flare Blitz? Is it going to be, no, it would just be a Rock Slide plus Foul Play. And I have to play the game of, is it going to be Flare Blitz? Or is it going to be Rock Slide? Uh, I guess I could Protect and bring in Shoes. Shoes shouldn't go down unless it's a Flare Blitz into Talonflame. We know Arcanine is faster than my Talonflame here, so there's no point in trying. I'm like... I'm like 90% sure they just click Rock Slide, so I could just make it rain. But Golden Go is such a big threat to the rest of their team. that I need to play safe. It was Rock Slide. Yeah, I could have done it. Ah. Well, this isn't so bad. Now I get the Fake Out turn, plus I make it rain. And I don't need to Terra Gold and go yet. I guess I could Terra for the Foul Play, but the Foul Play wasn't doing much because of the Intimidate. How does Crit Foul Play work? If they crit the Foul Play, does it ignore my attack drop? I actually don't know how that works. But yeah, Make It Rain plus Fake Out into Arcanine is so free here. They pretty much have to set up Tailwind with Murkrow now or they're not going to get it. They could bring in Palafin here. That would take a Make It Rain just fine. wonder how many turns I have to stay on the field to get my Sash back from this grass. <laughs> I assume Mind Chow is going to get hit at some point. Alright, they give in... they're bringing in Palafin? No, they're going to bring in Rillaboom. Okay, that makes sense. You want to position the uh, Flare Blitz later. Another Icy Wind is fine. I've accepted that my Golden Go is just going to be slower than your team. Does this take out Rilla? No. Okay. I would like another Fake Out later. I don't think I need Talonflame anymore. Jet Punch deletes it. Arcanine walls it. It's only good into Rillaboom, and I don't really care. Um, one thing to note here is they can't fake out my shoes. I could see them going for fake out plus Flare Blitz into Golden Go, though, just in case I Terra. Last turn of Grass. That's interesting. But yeah, my Golden Go is plus one. And mine is two attack, okay. Yeah, I protect Golden Go. Bring in Talonflame. It's not it's not a sack. I don't think Talonflame is gonna go down here. But I don't think I want to tail I don't think I need Tailwind. I'd be surprised if they go if they KO Talonflame here. But if they do, that I mean it's a good call. It's the it's the right call. Fake out into Golden Go. Yeah, they're gonna flare blitz Golden Go then. Oh, they're going to Flare Blitz that slot. Okay. I can live with that. Now I have to tear my Golden Go. I could tear a nasty plot here. And just Brave Bird the Gorilla. I'm gonna tear a dragon, make it rain. Brave Bird the Gorilla. Because if they let me get the Brave Bird into the Rillaboom, they didn't. But if they had, it would be single target into Arcanine, which I think KOs from here. Where, it, where it's at right now, it's iffy. If I remember correctly, I did about that much damage at plus one to that Arcanine before. 
I don't know if I'm remembering correctly, though. Alright, but Dragon Terror is the right Terra here. All, all they have now, I mean, they got Rock Slide, which James Speed can hit me now. And plus, hitting Brave Bird into Palafin, that's gonna be big damage. I love it. Uh, did you call this in Rock Slide? You must have. No, it's Flare Blitz. Oh, that does nothing to Golden Go. Plus that little bit of recoil puts you in make it rain range, I think. Yes, there we go. There we go. Let's golden go. Let's golden go, golden go. Alright, <laughs> both of their mons have priority. I can quick guard it, actually. Actually? I could quick guard. But I think I'd rather just protect and give them Talonflame. No, I want to protect. And try to take Rillaboom. I, I assume they're gonna hit my Talonflame. Like, my Protect on Golden Go, it's not super obvious. It's entirely, like, I wanna, I don't wanna play the Quick Guard game, because they could totally Woodhammer plus Wave Crash into Golden Go here. Which, I don't know if that KOs. But if they go for that play, I can take them. Otherwise, I can just get my Fake Out turn. Yeah, it's just a Grassy Glad into Talonflame. Fine. Crash. Okay. So quick guard would have it would have been fine, but whatever. I could fake out Shadow Ball double up into Rillaboom now, if I want. Or I could go to High Dragon. And just hit the Rillaboom. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just go for a Shadow Ball onto Palafin. And a Dark Pulse onto Rillaboom. Because my High Dragon is definitely faster than Rillaboom. It may not be faster than Palafin. Palafin's Jolly. Palafin isn't usually Jolly. Alright, we are faster than Palafin. That's good to know. That's really good to know. Rillaboom down. Palafin is not gonna beat this. They KO itself if it has enough damage. How much does that do? About a third. Care yourself? No. Okay. Shadow Ball cleans up. Game one has been won. All right. This team's doing great. This team's doing amazing. All right. I still like Talonflame High Dragon as a lead. They tried to get me with the with the sneaky E Speed Aqua Jet, E Speed uh, Jet Punch. It didn't work. They won't do that again. But I still think these are the right four. Uh, they brought. They have Terra Grass on Arcanine, right? They have Terra Grass on Palafin. Their Murkrow does not have Taunt. And they have Rillaboom. So I guess I could do a change up with Amoongus. Or even Gyarados. I'm worried about Palafin though if I bring Gyarados. Yeah, because I need the Terra on Golden Go. They don't really have anything that hits a Terra Dragon Golden Go. Except for their Ursaluna, which like. Yikes. That might be their change up, honestly. I think they do. Uh, they could also bring their own Golden Go. I mean, their Golden Go hits a Golden Go just as good as my Golden Go hits their Golden Go. They have the exact same Golden Go set. I don't know about the EVs, but... Arcanine Palafin again. This 
<laughs> There's no way they do the exact same thing, right? Right? Is going into Golden Go safe? No. Bird wouldn't be priority if I get hit. Whatever, I'm up a game. I'll do this. I'll do the exact same thing. I I'm gonna gamble on... There's no way he does the exact same thing, right? If they call this in Flare Blitz, I can immediately lose the game. Protect from Palafin. Rock Slide. Uh, Dark Pulse into Arcanine. Good damage. Give me a flinch, please. I like finding out I'm faster. Flinch! Ooh, we'll never find out now. Alright. I think I'm happy to tear a dragon right now in Nasty Plot. Throw another Dark Pulse at Arcanine. Okay, here comes Murkrow. Yep. It's going very similarly, but... Oh, Palafin stays in. That's interesting. I mean, you're not going to get much. Maybe you went for a wave crash here, but... I terra dragoned. Playing it safe. Good damage into Murkrow. Yeah, they go for the wave crash. Can you, can you bring out the Rillaboom now and uh, let me get uh, the grass recovery? That'd be nice. This is looking good. This is looking real good position-wise. They can get all the speed control they want with Murkrow. No, they can't. Because I'm going to make it rain now. And Dark Pulse the Palafin slot. Okay, I'm cool with you losing these two Pokemon. And Wave Crash into High Dragon. Okay. Yeah, they're, they're trying to make reads. That was a read on Talonflame coming in for sure. Which is something I was considering, but like, I could also just do that. I don't think I'm going to have to swap High Dragon out at all. Like, yeah, they'll get a Fake Out plus Rock Slide play. Whatever. Um. So they could Extreme Speed. No, Talonflame would be able to get Tailwind up at least. Should... Oh, they got Golden Go last. Nice. Very nice. They have a nasty plot Terra Dragon set as well. Okay. That's interesting now. I'm going to click Make It Rain. Just to KO Arcanine. And I'm gonna bring in Mind Shao mostly as like a sacrifice just to get High Dragon out of here until uh, t their Tailwind ends or until I can put up my own Tailwind. Because High Dragon can do really good once I get speed control back. It is a rock slide! That's always scary. And just to make it rain. Okay, our Golden Go hangs on. Hopefully our Golden Go doesn't flinch. Oh, we flinch. Ooh, that's big. That's really big. Alright, bringing in my Talon Flame. You can extreme speed to break the Gale Wings, but then what? Two turns on their Tailwind. 
I should just protect and put my tailwind up. Golden Go is plus one. Alright, protect. Get up my own tailwind. They should rock slide and nasty plot. That would be a good play. Really wish they had brought Rillaboom. <laughs> but High Dragon does good into this, so it's alright. Because either what? Ooh, okay. Terra on Goldingo. Yeah, you're worried about Flare Blitz, I guess. Or Shadow Ball. Depends on who you're going after here. It's also good into my High Dragon in the back. I may have to click Draco Meteor. I get my Tailwind up. But I'm going down to Rock Slide. Oh, Flare Blitz! Interesting. A nasty plot. Interesting. throw a make it rain just to see what it can do if anything and I'll throw a brave bird at golden go and then their tailwind will expire and I'll have to win the game with high dragon golden go for text okay and then does rock slide take out my golden go it's not like I was gonna brave bird the arcanine it's not like I was gonna swap in my win condition okay who dodges that's big Golden Go dodges. That's enormous. That is enormous. That is about as big as it could possibly be. Yeah, that could not have been bigger. Uh, the question is, do I need to Draco Meteor? Okay, it looks like they've reported a loss, so they're going to forfeit. Alright, GG's. We are in the finals. Two turns of Tailwind, none for them. I just Draco Meteor, make it rain. Yeah, I should click Draco Meteor. It connects, it ends the game. The end. Alright. <laughs> That's risky to, to call it over when it's not over. <laughs> but anyway, yep, GG's. Whew. Let's go. Alright, it's Dozo. I've dreaded the day, but I brought the clear Smogamungus. The question is, first of all, do they bring it? I don't think so. But I'm not going to gamble on that. Like, they bring it and I don't have a Moongus, I lose. They bring it and I do have a Moongus. I still probably lose. Like, they fought through some hazes and clear smogs, I'm sure. Golden Go Talonflame lead. It specs Terra Steel Golden Go, so High Dragon can just destroy it. If I put it next to my own Talonflame. Or if I put it next to a Fake Out, but like... I don't want to play Sarina games. Obviously, I bring a Moongus. Question is then: Shoes, Golden Go, or Gyarados? Man, Golden Go is good against everything that isn't Dondozo. Uh, they have Earth Power Glamora. It's not—it's not great into that. But Talonflame only has Brave Bird. I mean, their own Golden Go has Specs Shadow Ball, so that's not fun. Shoes isn't bad, honestly. Gyarados can intimidate, but I'm gonna burn Terra most likely. I'm gonna go Golden Go. 
Because with Amoongus, uh, even if I can't spore their stuff, because they have multiple Terra Grasses, a Grass type, a Golden Go. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. What is it on lead? Golden Go is the lead. Okay. They want to put down toxic spikes, but my entire team is immune. Golden Go doesn't want to eat a Flare Blitz, so I could Flare Blitz the Golden Go. That would force a swap there. So they would swap a Meteor Beam. Do I want to do I want to call that? <laughs> I'm happy to Dark Pulse. I will just go for the Flare Blitz. They're gonna swap Golden Go, right? Yeah. Ah, okay. Okay. Fungus. It is Dondozo. Okay. Maybe I can get a burn. That'd be fun. Oh, I got a burn! Oh, Talent Flight, yes! Okay, that makes up for the bad play. Or the, not a bad play, the wrong call. I could also get a flinch here. That's even way more likely. Okay, here's a meteor beam. Dodging this is just as likely as getting that burn. So just dodge it. Just, just, just dodge it. Nope, not dodging it. Oh, it's into high dragon. More like by dragon. Alright, a burned Dondozo is not very scary. I'm gonna bring in my Golden Go now. Or rather, Rayfort's Golden Go. I mean, Tailwind Shadow Ball is fine, right? You could call that in Wave Crash, I guess. Maybe Shadow Ball. Yeah, Tailwind Shadow Ball's fine. They withdraw into Tatsugiri. Here we go. I'm gonna get Tailwind, but not much else. This is going to be annoying. Oh, I can still very easily lose this. Like, just their Golden Go remaining is really terrifying. Shadow Ball into nothing. That should really redirect. I don't like that mechanic. And they do wave crash the Talent Flame. Alright, yeah, they're setting up for a Golden Go endgame. That makes sense. I should have swapped. I don't know what I'm doing. get all the boosts I can. Uh, no, I should protect first and just get the clear smog. They could call this and protect themselves to try to, like, get a hit in. Yeah, they did. Good play. It's the right play. It's Dondozo. This is gonna take a while. I, I really want to go to bed. But I also want to win. <laughs> so I will play to win. As long as it takes. But I'll be happy when it's over. I'm gonna nasty plot. Clear smog. And yes, I'm aware 
that Don Dozo has unaware. How much is this waiting for? Oh, not much. It's fine. So I can keep my gold and go nice and healthy. And I'll need to keep it nice and healthy. If it's going to sweep this guy's entire team. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to accomplish that. Just by getting more nasty plots. Might as well go up to plus six before I take this thing out, right? They're going for Terra Grass. Uh, to avoid getting redirected. I get it. Amoongus is faster than your Don Dozo? What? Huh? I don't get the Terra Grass. I don't get why I'm faster. Shouldn't be faster anymore. Tailwind's gone now. Alright, plus four. I'll go to plus six before I take it out. And then when I do finally take... Wow, Golden... Yeah, Golden Go must be fast. This is a bulky Don Dozo. Alright. Do I think Shadow Ball can finish it from there? Oh yeah, because it doesn't have the, uh the boosts anymore in speed. So yeah, that makes sense. Uh, I think Shadow Ball probably finishes it from here. So I'll Shadow Ball, and then I'll Spore the Cali Roll. <laughs> and I timed it wrong. <laughs> spore misses. <laughs> But whatever. Now they're guaranteed to go down. My golden goes at full HP anyway. Shadow Ball. Spore the Cali Roll. Alright, they've got Specs Golden Go. They've got Glamora which can no longer tear a grass. Meteor Beam, Earth Power. There's their Golden Go, which cannot Terra, so I Shadow Ball it. I think I Terra Water my Amoongus. I need to Rage Powder. <laughs> Do they make the call and go for, like, Thunderbolt? That'd be impressive. I'm pretty sure they're clicking Shadow Ball or Make It Rain, though. Either way, this is the Terra to have. Also, we don't know the speed tiers. This is the first time we're going to learn how the Golden Ghosts interact. Theirs is probably faster because it's so offensive. Uh, obviously Tatsugiri's fast, it has Scarf. And they go for Make It Right, okay, I'm glad I tear it. That does so much damage! Oh, it crit my Golden Go, of course. Of course you crit my Golden Go. Why wouldn't you? Alright, bye him, yummy. <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, a one turn sleep on Tatsugiri could be possible. If I redirect Shadow Ball. I'm more worried about Glamora. Draco probably takes a Moongus. Yeah, I need to Rage Powder and Shadow Ball and... Okay, they protected. I need that thing to not wake up here. If they don't wake up here, I win. Okay, they're fast asleep. Woo! Oh, I beat a Dozo. Let's go. All right, and yeah, now I can Rage Powder. They only have Mortal Spin and single target attacks. So Rage Powder will work. They have Power Herb, so they don't have an item anymore. Yeah, we got it. Make it rain. Rage Powder. Battle's canceled. All right, that's one. Let's go. All right, I cannot count on a burn from Flare Blitz bailing me out this time. So what I need to do... I think it is High Dragon, Talonflame, Amoongus, Golden Go. I'll have to rethink my turn one. I have to really rethink whether they bring the same four. I think they could have. I think they would have won without the burn. So yeah, why not do the exact same thing? Except this time I Draco Meteor. And Flare Blitz. I think Draco should take it. Yeah. Because if I don't lose my High Dragon turn one, that'd be a, that'd be swell. Alright, we get the Flare Blitz into Golden Go. Golden Go is Golden Gone. That's huge. That is enormous. And we connect the Draco Meteor. Let's go. Absolutely huge. And here's Bungus. Now I have to get a Moongus in safely somehow. They're going to ignore Talonflame. Talonflame can't do anything to them. Yeah. I've got such a lead I'm willing to make this risk. There's no way they order up the Talonflame slot. Or Earthquake. If they Earthquake, whoa. Okay, they order up that slot. Perfect. A critical hit. Golden Go, you're a crit magnet. Protect clear smog. Is that too obvious? 
Maybe. It was. But I don't mind, I'll get the clear smog eventually. And then I could tear a golden go, in which case they could go for an order up. I could... I do have Terra. I could bring in Talonflame and sacrifice it. I don't need it. Yeah, I'm getting clear smog. Now they should Terra. This time around, it actually makes sense for them to terrasse. Alright, wave crash. Take my talent flame, don't care. A critical hit. <laughs> the Dondozo likes to crit. My goodness. Get the clear smog. Go away stats. Never liked you having stats anyway. Now I think I'll wear him down with Golden Go. I'm correct that they didn't Terra yet, right? Yeah, they're definitely gonna Terra. So for now I'm just gonna throw a Shadow Ball and Pollen Puff my Golden Go back up. Hmm. Yeah, just protect to heal. I get it, I guess. Maybe I should be nasty plotting. How much does a Shadow Ball do to them? Well, they're not protecting, I'm gonna check it out. And I'll go for a Spore. I mean, maybe they don't click Terra for some reason. Maybe they want to save it for Tatsu, who has Steel. Communication interrupted. Alright, and we're back. I guess I won it. <laughs> oh, that's two for two in these A++ tours. I think I like this format. Alright, well, thank you for watching this long. I know it's been a really long one. Uh, but anyways, I gotta get to bed. Uh, and I'm Jordy, and uh, alright, peace.